Hello, my lovies. Praying and hoping everybody is doing fine and well today up on their game. I'm coming to you. I'm trying to fix this. You look kind of crooked. With um, week four, the ending of week four, which was the title was The Challenge. So what you were supposed to do, pick a 30-day period and write every morning. Hopefully, you got it in every morning. Sometimes, you know, this last week it could have been hectic, but if you didn't get it in that morning, hopefully sometime that day you got it in. But the challenge was to try to do it every morning before the start of your day. So when you write, you'll be writing from your soul, from the inner part, and versus writing at the end of the day of the events that happen in your life. And that's what happens, you know, when you write on the end of the day, which is some, which is really good as well, I would say. You know, try to get that morning in, most definitely. And then if you can't have time, write you know, a little bit on, um, at the end of the day, because it gets it off your mind where you can rest and sleep, you know, after you pray about it as well. So, and the challenge was to do that 30, pick a 30 day period where you were going to start writing every morning and, uh, about how you feel. And if you miss the week, the challenge a week for beginning to start, of this week I will link the video at the end of this video and it told you what we were going to do um, the sentence stems if you get stuck you, you don't know what to write we had sentence stems you can use to begin writing which are like sentence starters but yes and then also the fun fun part really fun part was you were supposed to make a cozy writing corner, which I did, and I will link mine in the video right now. Hello, my lovies. This is a quick pick of my cozy writing area, and I also have been I've also been using it for my reading little nook it's in my bedroom and i'm not going to show my entire bedroom because i'm in the process of redoing it slowly but surely i'm living on a short small budget so it's going to take time but i'm gonna go through this right quickly and tell you where everything came from so remember on the last video i did um the beginning of this week's lesson and i said it I was going to shop my house. So that's exactly what I did. But I only went out and purchased two things. I did go out and purchase two things. Um, well, one thing for my cozy corner and um, my journal book. When I said that I just used one of my old ones that I had tucked away, I didn't like it. It didn't make me happy when I got ready to use it. So what I did, I went and purchased me another little small journal for $2. But let's get right into my reading nook. Here, I purchased all these thing, things was purchased uh, between year 2015 and 2016. So just to let you know, except... Um, my journal, except a little few things, but the big items were, um, and this lamp was purchased on to, in 2017 from a Goodwill. Um, and I had it on my desk at the school. I wasn't utilizing it at all, so I brought it here, and and there it is, and that's how it lights up when I'm here at night, and I need it. This is pretty much a well-lit place because it's right by a window. And you all know I always, always compliment on my view. So this is the view from my bedroom. So um, I have it over in a little corner. The chair I purchased from a yard sale for $1. I am going to paint the chair with white chalk paint. And the cushion, I'm going to do it in a charcoal, charcoal gray. So I'm looking to do that in about a week or two. 
So that's what I am going to do with that. But for right now, I'm loving it. The pillow was purchased from the Goodwill um, last year sometime in 2017. The cover, the little blankie that I love, um, it was purchased in 2016. Let's see. The books here was purchased sometime in 2017 as well as the flower box the flower 2017 these little journals and little books here um was purchased one was purchased in 2016 i believe and the rest was 2017 and well two was given and one with this zebra one right here was just um a dollar the plant the plant was 50 cents from a yard sale um this right here this little tray here and it says you make the world a better place and this was purchased in 2016 as well and um i have just a few little items down here which was purchased with the tray i just said was you make a, a world a better place um i forgot what store um in 20 what i say 16 or 2016 i believe and the victoria's secrets was given to me by my son um, this table was purchased from the Goodwill. I have two of them, one in my living room, and I brought this one in here. Remember, I said I was going to shop my house, and I brought this one in here, and it does well in here. And um, I purchased both of these tables. Both of the tables was purchased for $10, $5 a piece, or a total up to $8 together. One of them. But it was purchased in... 2016 i believe it is 2016 or 2017 so actually i shot my house the only thing that i purchased the um past week was the chair for a dollar from the yard sale and this is the new journal that i'm writing my uh writing away in be happy be you so this is what I'm using and I purchased this and um, I purchased this from a family dollar for two dollars. I believe it was two dollars. Yep. So I like that on the back. It has the marble look and the cup purchased in 2017, 2016 or 2017. It say you make me happy. And I purchased this from a thrift store and the cup was I think a dollar ninety nine. But I was like, I'm getting that cup. That is a nice cup. So, yeah. So, but I switch out. I don't use that same cup all the time. I do switch out. I have very nice cups, um, mugs, and coffee cups, tea cups, is whatever you want to call them. So, yeah, this is my little sitting area. So, I hope that you made yourself, I hope you shop your house and made yourself a nice, cozy Sit in an area where you will love to enjoy to sit and write early in the morning. Um, and it's so true. When I write in the morning, your um, your mind really is focusing on mostly what your soul, the good things, what you want out of life, and what you, the desires of your heart and the way you really want to be, the person you want to be. And then later on, after in the evening when I come home and if I feel like writing about something, it's so true. What um I had talked about in the beginning of this week on our lesson that in the evening, I want to talk about what this kid done and how me and this teacher disagreed and, and how this and I'm so glad I'm home and I'm just so angry about this and, I, and all the negative things. So Writing in the morning is very, very positive, very positive, and it made my day go so much better because I'm focusing on what I wrote on there, the good things I want to happen, the positive things I want to happen to better my life and to better somebody else's, and then in the evening is also a good thing. I mean, if you want to sit and write in the evening as well, do that. Because to write all that stuff on paper, it takes the anger out of you. 
don't forget to pray for us. Because a lot of times we forget to do that and want to take stuff in our own hands. And I'm a witness of that. And I'm just make a bigger mess. And then I say, oh, Lord, could you help me out now? And why haven't we tried the Lord first? That's the question. Why didn't we try him first? So I'm working on that. I'm learning so much. So I'm um, in the evenings putting stuff down on paper, getting it off your mind before you lay down in the bed. It's a good thing as well. I mean, you wrote it on paper, all that stuff, and you just, then you can sleep, you know, sleep. You, it's not good to always go and run and tell somebody the negative thing. So, cause you have them and they on your side and you have them angry with other people. You put more pressure on them and, and on top of the pressure that they're going through in their life. But if you write it on the book, you can lay down and, and pray about it and go to bed and you've gotten it off your mind. So, yes, I just wanted to give you all a look of my little reading cozy corner. And I am so happy and I'm enjoying it. Now, one thing I am looking for, and I'm looking to thrift it or yard sell it, not brand new, unless it's a, on clearance, so by $5 or whatever, is a little stool, just a little stool where I can stretch my legs out. Yes, just a little stool where I can stretch my legs out. That'll be so, so wonderful. And also, I wanted to come into here and talk about this right here i received from a goodwill or a yard sale i'm sorry about the lighting and it's a v-day when you first look at that and it was probably i think i got it from a thrift store um in 2016 or 2017 and you look at it and you probably say okay that stand for valentine's day and that's the first thing i thought about okay that stand for valentine's day but i don't celebrate valentine's day but i love the glittery look so i bought it anyway and when I bought it, I was like, oh, that V can stand for Victory Day. So I put it by in my room, by my sitting corner, because I think of it every day as a Victory Day in Jesus' name. I can face tomorrow because he lived, because Jesus lived. And victory is mine every day. In the name of Jesus. So that when I look at that, I don't look at it as Valentine's Day. I look at that V as Victory Day. So I hope you enjoy my little small writing nook. And also I read over here. Yes. And I enjoy it. Yes. And I can't wait until I get the rest of my room together so I can. In the comment section below. Please, please leave a short detail about how much joy you had um, filming your, or I mean, making up your little cozy space to for your journal writing, and you can use it for reading, relaxing, your spend your time, your time with yourself there, and let us know how you felt afterward and how it's working out for you and how you're feeling after you write in the morning time versus if you would have written in the evening time or how you feel period since you've been writing and make sure you got that 30 day span marked off and hopefully it goes beyond the 30 days i love you all i truly do i really do and i always keep you all in my prayers that's all i can do i have none i have no silver and i have no gold heck i don't even have a car anymore but I, one thing i do have and that's the God of Bishop Charles Wilson, the God of all God, Jesus Christ. That's the one I serve. That's the one he served too. And that's where my prayers go for you all to him. I love you all. I'm glad I have somebody to talk to. See you. So I hope you enjoyed the cozy corner. Please leave a some information, how you enjoying your cozy corner. If you want to send me pictures, my email address are down, is down below. Love for winter. Look in the description box. Please also let us know in a comment how it's working out for you writing in the morning, how you're feeling throughout your day. I really love you all. I will be making another video about a situation that I'm going through right now. So look for that one coming up soon. Um, don't forget about tomorrow video coming up of the beginning of week 
five. So yes, I'm excited about that. Everybody take care. Stay blessed. Remember, I don't know when, you don't know where, and we don't know how, but he will make a way. Love you.